good good evening everybody welcome to this nani palikwala wednesday law club show our today's subject is 64 leading cases of ar examination i am conducting this program on 7th december 2022 abhi tak jo notified cases hain that 64 cases i am discussing today uh, some cases are more than 1000 pages also it is not possible for anybody to cover all these pages all the aspects but to give the glimpse because they are providing head notes at the time of writing the papers but if you don't know any idea about the case then it is very hard to find out the case in that bunch so for that purpose what is the central theme of that case which doctrines are outcome of that particular case how that case becomes a leading case every minute aspect you should know so this is my recommendation to you at least go to all 64 cases at a glance a scrolling all these 64 cases are available on supreme court website you can download it properly head notes are there highlighted part are, are head notes and they are printing head notes in separate book registry is giving supreme court registry is giving that book along with your paper so you can see that yeah there are two views one view is don't don't use that reference book otherwise you you will not get pass aisa kuch logon ka bolna hai ki wo book mat use karo humne ye book use nahi kiya apne apne own language mein likhna hai aur dusra ek view hai ki no specific question agar rehta hai if there is a specific question what is 11 principles decided in this case aisa agar specific sawal aayega to wo aapko case ke 11 principle wo particular bench ke aapko dekh ke hi likhne honge so ideals and practical should be together jab aapko book refer karke likhna hai book refer karke likho jab aapko book refer karke nahi likhna hai to wo kar book refer mat karo lekin aapko ye malum chahiye chal shuruaat karte hain मेरे गुरु नानी पालकी वाला के लीडिंग केस है ये पहली ही केस है 64 केसेस में केशवानंद भारत नाम कॉस्ट टाइटल बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है ही इज होलीनेस केशवानंद भारती श्रीपाद गाला वारू वर्सेस स्टेट ऑफ केरला अप्रैल 24 1973 मेरा खुद का किताब ही ये 64 केसेस के ऊपर अमेजोन पे अवेलेबल है वो किताब में से कुछ पार्ट में आपको थोड़ा बीच में बीच में पढ़ूंगा और कुछ बात बताऊंगा पूरा बुक भी कवर करना पॉसिबल नहीं है मुझे दो घंटे में या तीन घंटे में बट आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट सो व्हाट इज द आउटकम आउटकम ऑफ दिस केशवानंद भारती केस दैट इज डॉक्टर ऑफ बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर 13 जज 13 जजेस लार्ज बेंच वाज हियर सो मेन हाईलाइट पॉइंट्स आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया आर्टिकल 368 बिफोर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन 24th अमेंडमेंट एक्ट 1971 नेचर एंड स्कोप ऑफ अमेंडिंग पावर फंडामेंटल राइट्स इंफ्रिंजमेंट ऑफ फंडामेंटल राइट्स वेदर parliament is allowed to change the basic structure which affecting the fundamental rights all discuss in this cases there there was stalwarts arguments also there there are 13 judges different judgments also also there this case carries more than 1000 pages and this case is writ petition number 135 of 1970 in the writ petition petitioner has challenged the validity of kerala land reform amendment act 
लैंड रिफॉर्म एक्ट के ऊपर ही ये लैंड रिफॉर्म एक्ट को ही उन्होंने चैलेंज किया था एंड केरला लैंड रिफॉर्म अमेंडमेंट एक्ट 1971 दीज आर देयर चैलेंजेस एंड मेजॉरिटी ऑफ डिसीजन वाज दैट by majority the decision of majority in golaknath that word law in article 32 to included the amendment to the constitution and the article operated as a limitation upon the power to amend the constitution in article 368 in is erroneous and is overruled so ye particular case ne golaknath case overruled kar diya kafi cases ko overruled kar diya the power to amend does not include the power to alter the basic structure or framework of the constitution so as to change its identity dosto ye ek ye judgment ke karan hamara loktantra astitva mein because basic structure parliament cannot changes this is the main output out, output of this case there are no inherent or implied limitation on the power of amending under article 368 by majority the first part of article 31c is valid the second part of the article whereas and no law containing a declaration that it is for giving effect to such policy shall be called in question in any court on the ground that it does not give effect to such policy is invalid so this is the little bit idea about keshavananda bharati case main is basic structure doctrine come here some cases are overruled here many cases are discussed so many foreign constitutional provisions are also discussed by stalwart see in, in this case second case is a maneka gandhi you can pronounce it maneka also maneka also maneka gandhi versus union of india january 25 1978 case this is a depend article 14 21 19 1 11 personal liberty this is this case is depend upon the personal liberty constitution of india article 14 191 a and 11 personal liberty whether right to go abroad is the part of personal liberty article 21 has a still to meet the challenges of article 19 nature and ambit of article 14 logging validity and a reference to the direct and inevitable effect whether the right under article 191a has any geographical limitation isme hua tha aisa ki 4th of july 1977 ko petitioner manika gandhi received one letter from the passport office और वो पासपोर्ट ऑफिस और एंड दैट इट वाज डिसाइडेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू इम्पाउंड हर पासपोर्ट अंडर सेक्शन टेन थ्री सी ऑफ द एक्ट इन द पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट सो द पेटिशनर वाज रिक्वेस्टेड to surrender her passport within 7 days from the receipt of that letter the petitioner immediately addressed a letter to the regional passport officer requesting him to furnish a copy of statement of reason for making the order as provided in section 105 of passport act ki bhai aap karan batao humne passport kyu wapas dena shows reason lekin unhone they have not given any reason aur unhone itna hi bataya ki to give reason of doing so government is 
impounding her passport and declined to give reasons for doing so. The act was enacted on 24-467 in view of the decision of this court in Satman Singh Savlej's case. Then this petitioner comes in writ petition before the apex court and the apex court decided the right to go abroad is the part of personal liberty within the meaning of the expression as used in article 21 and no one can be deprived of this right except according to the procedure prescribed by law. There is no procedure prescribed by the Passport Act for impounding or revoking a passport. Even if some procedure can be traced in the said act, it is unreasonable and arbitrary. Arbitrary is as much as it does not provide for giving an opportunity of holder of the passport to be heard against the making of the order. Section 10 3C is violation of fundamental rights guaranteed under the Article 14, 19, 1A, G, and 21. This is the very best case. The impugned order is made in contravention of the rule of the natural justice and is therefore null and void. The impugned order has effect of placing unreasonable restriction on the right of the free speech and expression guaranteed to the petitioner under the Article 19.1a as also on the right to carry on the profession of journalist confirmed under Article 19.1g. Uh, YouTube pe dekhne wale jo common public hai, unke liye batana chata hu mein कि ये जो एपिसोड हम शूट आपको बता रहे हैं ये स्पेसिफिकली सुप्रीम कोर्ट के एओआर एग्जामिनेशन का वीडियो है और सुप्रीम कोर्ट एओआर एग्जामिनेशन के लिए जो 64 लीडिंग केसेस सिलेबस में है तो उनका वर्णन द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दैट 64 केसेस सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज नॉट डिस्कसिंग एनी फैक्ट इन द कोर्ट ओनली ऑन सब्स्टेंशियल क्वेश्चन ऑफ लॉस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल प्रोविजन आर्गुमेंट्स आर देयर इसलिए एकदम नए लॉयर है या एकदम नए लोग हैं जिनको लॉ का ज्यादा नॉलेज नहीं है उनके शायद कभी ये हमारा पूरा एपिसोड सर के ऊपर से जा सकता है लेकिन ये एपिसोड स्पेसिफिकली फॉर एओआर एग्जामिनेशन सेटिंग कैंडिडेट के लिए बना रहे हैं इसलिए लेकिन बार-बार अगर इसको देखते रहेंगे बार-बार सुनते रहेंगे तो कुछ ऐसा ऐसा समझ में आ भी जाएगा ऐसा कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं नाउ केस नंबर 3 मिनर्वा मिल लिमिटेड एंड अदर्स वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया एंड अदर्स जुलाई 31 1980 दिस केस इज आल्सो आउट आउटकम ऑफ दिस केस इज आल्सो बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर डॉक्ट्रिन फाइव जजेस बेंच इज दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया 42nd अमेंडमेंट एक्ट सेक्शन 4 and 55 whether the sections are beyond the amending power of the parliament under article 368 of the constitution and therefore why whether the directive principle of the state policy contained in part 4 of the constitution can have primacy over the fundamental right confirmed by the part 3 of the constitution Constitution of India, Article 14, 19, 31C, 38, and 368. So, some directive principle of state policy is given in Part 4 of the Constitution. But whether that directive principle which given, which are given in the Part 4, supersedes over the fundamental rights. Under Article 14, 19, 31, C, 38, like that. Minerva Bill Limited is a limited company dealing in textile. On August 20, 1970, the central government appointed a committee 
under section 15 of the Industrial Development Regulation Act 1951 to make a full and complete investigation of appears, affairs of the Minerva Mill Limited, as it was the opinion that there had been or was likely to be substantial fall in the volume of production. So, this Minerva will fix the calm nicker, this is a car, this Minerva will go, Minerva will go hit take over Karneka, is nationalized Karneka, this ये षड्यंत्र जो है जिसको हम बोलते हैं ये रचा गया था मैं डिटेल में फैक्ट्स पढूंगा तो ये दिस इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू योर एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज़ दे विल नॉट आस्क यू एनी फैक्ट इन एग्जामिनेशन सो इंस्टेड ऑफ रीडिंग द फैक्ट्स मैं इतना ही खाली बताऊं कि मिनरवा बिल के ऊपर संकट आ गया था कि दे आर रनिंग इन लॉसेस so running of दैट मिल इज नॉट गुड सो नेशनलाइज डू द नेशनलाइजेशन लाइक लाइक दैट so authority, the National Textile Corporation Limited to take over the management of the mill on the ground that its affairs are being managed, manner highly determined to the public interest. This undertaking was nationalized and taken by the central government under the provisions of Sikh Textile Undertaking Nationalization Act 1974. The petitioner challenged the constitutional validity of certain provisions of Sikh Textile Undertaking Nationalization Act 1974 and of the order dated October 1997. So, this is the provision of the constitution. The challenge is the petitioner. So, on the ratio of the majority judgment in the Keshwananda Bharti case, namely, though the article 368 of the constitution, parliament is given the power to amend the constitution. That power cannot exercise to damage the basic feature of the constitution or so as to destroy its basic structure. Parliament can change the constitution under article 368. But that power cannot be exercised to damage the basic structure feature of the constitution or so as to destroy its basic structure. Aapko khas baat bata raha hon. Ye toh hon tisri case pe hai. Lekin Keshwananda case, Bharati case hone ke baad. Us samay ki government ne. Isko review me challenge kiya. Review me bhi argument hoa. Review may be Nani Palki Wala stalwart better hai. Review dismiss ho gaya. Curative bhi wapas change karne ki koshish ki. Keshwananda Bharati ko reward karne ki koshish ki. Lekin curative may be reward nahi maha. Is liye dosto, Bharat ka joh lok tantra jinda hai. Is me Nani Palki Wala, ho samay ke judges, why judges, sab ka bhoot contribution hai dosto. Ne to government kabhi kabhi aisa kuch kar deti hai. Lekin nagar judiciary powerful hai. So, three poles are of democracy, uh, legislature, administration, and judiciary. When judiciary is power, so such type of things are happening. Now, case number four. Sharad Birdichan Sarda versus State of Maharashtra, July 17, 1984. I'm taking the cases in that order, in which order you will get the head notes at the time of examination. My book, Supreme Court Case Laws, is also in that order. Whether you buy it or not, it, it makes no difference. If you are capable to read original judgment, that is more enough. But if you want some short, some like that, then you can buy uh, this book or any other book which is available uh, on the in the market. Uh, this book is specifically available on Amazon, uh, Flipkart, uh, uh, Notion Press, Amazon UK, Amazon uh, USA, हर जगह पे हमारी किताबें में more than 41 of, uh, my books on Supreme Court case laws are published. Out of that 41, uh, two books on AOR examination. One is this 64 uh, case studies. 
and uh, another is uh, professional ethics case laws professional ethics ki case laws hai professional ethics ke paper mein case laws ke upar agar aapka acha uh, strong ye hai uh, command hai to professional ethics mein bhi scoring acha milega isme bhi scoring acha milega isme ek to milta to scoring milta hai no to that direct um, clean board hota hai like that ye thoda sa danger paper hai i'm not uh, uh, frightening you lekin ye karta humko to koi exam dena nahi hai lekin jo de rahe hain unko khali बता रहे हैं कि आप थोड़ा सा लास्ट वन मंथ फुल प्रिपरेशन करो आठ घंटा दस घंटा जितना दे सकते हो उतना बस इतना ही मैं बोलूंगा एंड कोशिश करो निकल जाने का सिक्सटी परसेंट एग्रीगेट मार्क चाहिए यू यू नो दैट थिंग्स सो नाउ केस नंबर फोर दिस शरद सारडा केस व्हाट इज द मेन थीम ऑफ दिस केस जजेस आर इन दिस केस आर थ्री circumstantial evidence and doctrine of proximity these are two outcome when a direct evidence is not there to circumstantial evidence should be and we for the circumstantial evidence chain is break that gives the benefit of doubt to the accused and that happens here pune ke district court ne tino ko एक मेन एक्यूज को तो डेथ पनिशमेंट दे दिया दो एक्यूज को लाइफ इंप्रिजमेंट दे दिया देन अपेलेट कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट हैज रिल्यूड दैट टू बट डेथ पेनल्टी इज इज देयर एंड देन मेन एक्यूज शरद सारा हु इज हु कम्स टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एस एल बी एंड सुप्रीम कोर्ट फाउंड द ब्रेकिंग ऑफ द चेंड इन इविडेंस normally what supreme court goes they are not observing any facts but in special in this case what they are exactly telling listen that article 136 interference by the supreme court with the concurrent findings of the fact of the courts below normally not permissible special circumstances like error of law violation of well established principles of criminal jurisprudence etc would be necessary for interference evidence circumstances evidence nature and proof of conditions precedent of conviction evidence act section 3 when you are practicing in court to court you have four five main bhagavad gitas one is cpc crpc constitution of india evidence act limitation act contract act ye basic kuch kitab hai saal mein ek bar at least index ye kuch padhna chahiye so revision revision hoga and that lawyer become a excellent lawyer and when you are practicing in apex court तो इसके साथ साथ अपेक्स कोर्ट का जो प्रोसीजर है सुप्रीम कोर्ट रूल्स 2013 अलोंग विथ टू सुप्रीम कोर्ट प्रोसीजर 2017 प्रोसीजर के साथ रूल पढ़ो तो वो ज्यादा आपको मजा देगा एंड बोथ रूल्स एंड प्रोसीजर आर अवेलेबल ऑन सुप्रीम कोर्ट वेबसाइट यू कैन डाउनलोड इट ऑलरेडी यू हैव डाउनलोडेड इट मेनी पीपल सो इविडेंस सर्कमस्टेंसेस इविडेंस नेचर प्रूफ ऑफ कंडीशन प्रिसेडेड फॉर कन्विक्शन evidence act like that doctrine of proximity concept of nature limits explain admissibility of statement and dying declaration under section 832 of the evidence act ye sab yahan ek case mein discuss kiya hai dosto aur yahan se sharad sarda is clearly acquitted because of the benefit of doubt ek bahut acha principle hai jo ek case pe discuss kiya hai let me read that moral conviction however strong genuine cannot amount to be a legal conviction supportable law morally aapko kuch bhi lagta ho but weak legal conviction is not supported by law if there is a chain break of the evidence chain that is the benefit of doubt and that should be given to the accused the test of proximity cannot be too literally construed and the practically reduced 
to cut and dried formula and universal application so as to confine in a straight jacks. So these are the outcome of, uh, let me read one thing. The whole case vested West on the circumstances evidence based on the certain letters alleged to have been written by the deceased to the some of the witnesses and other statement of the deceased to them and medical report. On the appreciation of evidence, the trial court found all three accused guilty as charged, convicted them accordingly and sentenced the appellate to death under section 302 IPC. And all the three accused to rigorous, uh, rigorous imprisonment for two years and fine of rupees 2000 each like that. The appellant and other accused acquitted uh, from the uh, appellate court and only one uh, accused approached to the apex court. And apex court have given him the benefit of doubt. अभी भी इतने इतने में भी ये साल में एक दो केसेस में भी ऐसा हुआ है कि डेथ कन्विक्शन एक्विटल हो गया है बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ दिस केस सो दिस केस इज़ वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट केस इन अवर ट्रायल कोर्ट टू एपेक्स कोर्ट प्रैक्टिस ए आर अंतुले केस नंबर फोर सॉरी केस नंबर फाइव ए आर अंतुले वर्सेस आर एस नाइ 7 जज बेंच ए आर अंतुले चीफ मिनिस्टर थे उनके ऊपर उनके चीफ चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र उनके ऊपर कुछ आरोप हो गए थे और उसके कारण दे ही हैव रिजाइन बट ही हैव नॉट रिजाइन द एमएलए ही रिजाइन द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ एमएलए बट इवन दो सम एलिगेशंस आर देयर एंड फिर उनका जो ट्रायल है वो ट्रायल जस्टिफाइड नहीं होगा वेदर दैट ट्रायल इज फ्री ट्रायल ये डाउट है इसलिए वो केस आगे आया सुप्रीम कोर्ट तक आया सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने वापस डिसीजन गया वापस स्पेशल कोर्ट अपॉइंट हुआ वापस हाई कोर्ट हुआ वापस सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने आया और ये सुप्रीम कोर्ट में आने के बाद सेकंड टाइम सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने आया तो सेवन जज के बेंच द सेवन जज बेंच अभी मैं थोड़ा सा बताता हूं आर्टिकल 13 14 21 32 Prosecution of the appellant of open offenses under section 161 and 165 IPC. Trial under Criminal Law Amendment Act 1952 to be held by the special judge only. Supreme Court in its judgment directing trial to be held by the High Court judge validity of the Supreme Court judgment. Whether infringement of the fundamental right of acute involved whether procedure established by law violates power to create enlarged jurisdiction legislative in character. Yeah, transfer petition may be kafi helpful hota hai ye case laws, friends. Uh, whether an accused can demand as of a right trial with co-accused, legal maxim, legal maxims, acute curai, neminon, Grabby bit. Ye bhi isme discuss hua hai. This court granted special due in this special due petition questioning the jurisdiction of the special judge to try the case and stead further proceedings in the high court. It also issued notice in the other special due petition and the writ petition and directed these to be tagged on the appeal. On the application filed by the respondent number one for the revocation of special leave as a dismissed and appeal was referred to the bench of seven judges. The other special leave petition and the writ petition were dealing to the heart after the disposal of the appeal. In the appeal of two questions, in the appeal, two questions arose 
namely whether the directions given by the court on 16 february 1984 withdrawing the special cases pending in the uh, court of special judge and transferring the same to the high court with the request to the chief justice to assign these cases to the sitting judge of the high court in bench of in the bench of section 71 of the criminal law amendment act 1952 which mandated that the offense as in this case should be tried only by the special judge thereby denying at least one right of appeal to the apparent was violating of article 1421 of the constitution bahut acha principle hai each and every accused should get a right of at least one right of appeal one right of appeal special court ne डिसाइड करने के बाद एक अपील तो अनाइ की है जैसे आर फोर्सेस के मैटर जो आर फोर्सेस ट्रिब्यूनल मैटर हुए हैंडलिंग सो मेनी सर्विस मैटर अदर मैटर्स इन सुप्रीम कोर्ट बट स्पेसिफिकली आर फोर्सेस ट्रिब्यूनल मैटर आर नॉट कवरिंग अंडर द आर्टिकल 136 अंडर द आर्टिकल 136 में एनी ज्यूडिशियल ऑर्डर ट्रिब्यूनल ऑर्डर कैन चैलेंज डायरेक्टली टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एसएलपी स्पेशल रिपीटेशन एक्सेप्ट आर्मी मैटर्स एक्सेप्ट आर्मी ट्राइबूनल ऐसा क्लियर कट वर्डिंग है फिर आर्मी आर्मी ट्राइब्यूनल का जो है आर्मी ट्राइब्यूनल का सेक्शन थर्टी थर्टी वन के अनुसार ये मैटर सुप्रीम कोर्ट में स्टेच्यूटरी अपील बोल के आता है सो आर्मी ट्राइब्यूनल के डिसीजन के पास सीधा अपील डायरेक्ट सुप्रीम कोर्ट में सो दैट इज द राइट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन टू गेट एटलीस्ट वन अपील हियरिंग हियर सो दिस केस इज वेरी पावरफुल टू मैंशन इन सच टाइप ऑफ केसेस criminal law amendment 1952 creates a condition with which is sign q non sign q non means uh, essential condition for a trial of offenses under section 61 of the said act now case number 6 kihoto holan versus jachulu and others november 12 1991 february 18 1992 so two times uh, this uh, case was uh, discussed what is the outcome of this case ratification of the schedule 10 unconstitutional and basic structure also here and transfer petition allowed i say three outcome hai ye ये पर्टिकुलर केस के फाइव जज बेंच हैड डिसाइडेड दिस केस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन फिफ्टी सेकंड अमेंडमेंट एक्ट 1985 पेटिशन चैलेंजिंग द इंसर्शन ऑफ टेन शेड्यूल टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पैरा सेवन टू टेन शेड्यूल व्हिच ब्रिंग्स आउट चेंज इन ऑपरेशन ऑफ आर्टिकल 136 टू टू सिक्स टू टू सेवन मेड विदाउट रेटिफिकेशन ऑफ स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर एज प्रोवाइडेड under article uh, 368 to invalid the transfer petition is allowed and the writ petition rule number 2421 of the 1990 on the file of the high court of guwahati is withdrawn to this court for the purpose of deciding the constitutional issue of the declaring the law of the matter we have reached the conclusion that para 7th of the 10th schedule is unconstitutional that the entire 10th schedule is constitutionally invalid in the absence of prior ratification in accordance with the provision of clause of article 368 that the doctrine of severability ye khas khas doctrine alag alag judgment mein discuss ki hui hai खाली डॉक्टर के ऊपर कोई सब क्वेश्चन आ गया तो यू शुड रिमेम्बर विच केस वॉज दैट एंड देन यू कैन सर्च आउट दैट केस सो सिक्वेंस ऑफ दैट केस सिक्वेंस ऑफ द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ द रजिस्ट्री फॉर एवर एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दैट सेम सिक्वेंस विच इज इन माई बुक ऑल्सो एंड विच इज इन दैट नोटिफिकेशन ऑल्सो एंड इन दैट दैट कंपाइल्ड बुक ऑफ द हेड नोट्स 
हेड नोट्स का जो बुक रहता है उसमें भी उसी क्रम से दिया जाता है तो वो क्रम अगर आपको याद है तो फटाक से वो केस मिल जाएगा यू कैन राइट इट प्रॉपरली देन द डॉक्ट्रिन ऑफ सेवरेबिलिटी डज नॉट अप्लाई इन द प्रेजेंट केस ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अमेंडमेंट वी सपर्ड फ्रॉम द डिफेक्ट ऑफ द एब्सेंस ऑफ द रेटिफिकेशन एज रिक्वायर्ड बाय द प्रोविजन ऑफ क्लॉज 2 ऑफ द आर्टिकल 368 that the remaining part of the 10th schedule minus para 7 is the is also unconstitutional for violation of basic structure of constitution and that the entire 10th schedule is therefore constitutionally invalid rendering the constitution 52nd amendment act 1985 still bond and an ab abortive attempt to amend the constitution in view of this conclusion it is not necessary for us to express judges bol rahe it is not necessary for us to express our concluded opinion on the other grounds of the challenge to the constitutional validity of entire 10th schedule as at the hearing on the basis of the alleged violation of certain other basic features of the constitution including the right of member based on article 105 of the constitution case number 7 indra sawni versus union of india indra sawni sawni versus union of india november 16 1992 this is a reservation case so five judges bench decided constitution backward class order passed by the recommendation of the mandal commission mandal case many while many violent incidents took place after order was made legitimate interest of every backward class to be protected identification of the caste continues but no further steps to implement this order shall taken held there three out of us three out of us sitting as a bench on the 21st september 1990 made an order after hearing parties where we had indicated that the decision to implement three aspects of the recommendations of the mandal commission was the political one and ordin ordinarily the court would not be interfere with such decision we reiterate that the legitimate interest of every backward class shall be appropriately protected we make it further clear that the order made today is only clarification of the order made on 21st september 1990 bringing out the real support so this is the best reservation case case number 8 yes r bombay bombay and others versus union of india and others uh, after uh, 16 cases i will take one break hmm? then again we will take 16 cases then i will take another another break and if capacity is there then we will continue or then after 34 cases 32 cases we will stop and maybe on saturday evening we will take another session of balance cases so yes r bombay and others versus union of india and others march 11 1994 what is the outcome of this case president's rule promulgation under article 356 many transport cases and basic structure nine judge bench constitution of india article 356 nature scope applicability and effect of precedents rule promulgation of the case of the failure of the constitutional machinery in state satisfaction of precedent that situation has arisen 
in which the government of the state cannot be carried on in accordance with the provisions of the constitution interpretation of the satisfaction of the president. Satisfaction meaning of the subjective satisfaction of the union, council of ministers, principle of natural justice. Observation of satisfaction must be based on the ob objective material. So these things are, they have discussed in this some more. Concept of positive secularism. Concept of positive secularism, religion, vis a vis, secularism, secularism in part of the basic structure of the constitution. Secularism is the part of basic structure of the constitution. Of the effect of the 42nd amendment. Constitution of India, Article 32, 226 and 35 proclamation under Article 356 amendable to the judicial review. So judicial re review is allowed there. So justificability and judicial review difference they have given. Uh, the word and phrases federal uh, federalization, federation, federal form of government, secularization, everything discussed here and judicial review discussed in this case. In the present appeal transfer cases, the dissolution of the legislative assemblies in Karnataka, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Nagaland, what challenge? In all cases, one side came with it. And the main case was Mumbai. Ka tha. Mumbai was all attacked. That's why the case's name is cost title. Mumbai hai, but so many. So each and every state's facts are a little bit similar. So they attacked and the one order, uh, FX court decided this case. The writ petition was filed challenging this and the High Court dismissed the writ petition against which the present appeal is filed. Various contentions had been raised to preamble of the constitution, federal structure of the constitution, judicial review, central state relations, basic structure of the constitution is also secularism. Yal Chandra Kumar, case number nine. Yal Chandra Kumar versus Union of India and others, December 2, 1994. Well, this is administrative tribunal case, administrative tribunal. And basic structure also here. Yeah. So th three judges bench is here. Constitution of India Article 324A three third uh, three twenty four A three twenty four B Administrative Tribunal Act. 1985 section 5-6 constitutional validity of the matters arising out of the judgment of the constitutional bench in SP Sampath Kumar versus Union of India and subsequent decision referred to larger bench. Held in view of the decision in SP Sampath Kumar's case by which a constitutional bench of this court decided the wheels of the Administrative Tribunal Act 1985 and observation made therein matter be placed before a larger bench for the reconsideration. The issues referred to the larger bench. Ye case ka output larger bench ko ye refer kar, kar diya gaya. And the issues before larger bench whether tribunal can be equated with high courts, the jurisdiction, power and authority of administrative tribunal to adjudicate upon the questions of constitutional validity, legislation of the rules, this question 100% aega. Whether a tribunal which has the power to decide on the constitutional validity of statute or rule made under Article 
309 can have the administrative member on its bench, whether the power of judicial review held to be available to the administrative tribunal as per the Sampat Kumar's case violates the basic structure of the constitution. This is a high court, ko, supreme court, ko, judicial review ka power hai. Aisa power tribunal ko hai kya? Tribunal ka darja, high court ka darja, same hai kya? Aise larger bank ko kye gaya hai. And baad mein kuj decision aagi bhi gaya hai. Aar usme clear hua hai ki tribunal are the quasi judiciary. High court and supreme court have the power of judicial review. Tribunal don't have that power of judicial review. So, ये थोड़ा additional information अगर लिखेंगे ना, तो it makes impact on the examiner. Yes, ये खाली case laws नहीं, case laws के बाद के भी क्या happenings है, he knows that. And he have written it very properly. और जो भी ऐसा कुछ extra लिखते हैं, उसको highlight करो. तो examiner can read and examiner can allot the marks. Pollution case. Which case is that? Case number 10. Vellore Citizen Welfare Forum versus Union of India and others, August 28, 1996, three judges case pollution. Constitution of India, 1950, Article 21, 47, 48A and 51AG, Environmental Pollution Caused by the Tenaries untreated influenced by the tenaries in the state of Tamil Nadu, discharge of thereby pol polluted subsoil liver water, subsoil liver water resulting in non-availability of potable water, spotted psychochemical properties of soil making it unfit for cultivation. So these are the discuss in this case article 32 226 public interest litigation environmental pollution caused by tenaries in tamil nadu comprehensive direction issued by the supreme court however the institute of supreme court itself monitoring the matter any further madras high court advised the supreme court direction eh? madras court adva advised to constitute a green bench to deal with all environmental matter in future, such green benches already functioning in some high courts. So these advice Apex Court has given, had given to the Madras High Court. However, till date, most of ten already operating in the state of Tamil Nadu had not taken any step to control the pollution caused by the discharge of influence. So this is the responsibility of the administration to look after that. Case number 11, D.K. Basu versus State of West Bengal, December 18, 1996. What is the outcome of this case? Custodian death. This case is depend upon the custodian death, hmm? torture, article 21, 22, 23. Two judge ka hi bench ka case hai, lekin acha case hai. Custodian violence, torture, rape, death in police custody, lockup infringe article 21. As well as the basic human rights, strike a below at a rule of law, torture involves not only physical suffering but also mental agony it was neck violation of human dignity and destruction of the human personality interrogation must be sustained and scientific third degree method would be impermissible the petitioner filed petition public interest The petitioner filed the petitioner public interest public interest in this court in the awake of news items published in the telegram. The statement and the Indian Express regarding the death in police lockup and custody. The petition stated 
the that the efforts were often meant to hush up and look up lock up death and thus the crime went unpunished and flourish ordinary level pe newspaper ki cutting biting evidence nahi mana jata jada lekin in sab sab sensitive case mein khali newspaper ke iske upar bhi ye uh, public rate uh, in interest litigation file hua and is decided uh, and custodian death torture ye hona nahi chahiye third degree यूज नहीं करना चाहिए पुलिस के स्टडी में आर्टिकल 21 जो है जिसके अंडर आर्टिकल 21 के अंडर पर्सनल लिबर्टी के अंडर ही हम बेल एप्लीकेशन वगैरह का जो एक प्रोविजन मानते हैं ये सब कुछ इसके ऊपर है सो so, ये सब बेल केसेस में इसमें उसमें ये डीएस बसु केस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस है कुछ कुछ तो ऐसे है कि उनका ट्रायल भी नहीं हो रहा है ऐसे पड़े रहे ऐसे है ऐसे लोगों को भी निकालना जरूरी है तो लीगल एड में अगर आप है ये है तो कुछ कुछ कर सकते हैं इनके लिए जरूर कर सकते हैं ना किसी ने अभी मुझे चार्ट बॉक्स में सवाल पूछा था कि विच बुक यू आर रीडिंग व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ द बुक नेम ऑफ दिस बुक इज सुप्रीम कोर्ट एवर एग्जामिनेशन लीडिंग केसेस ओके जयप्रकाश बंसलाल सोमानी ऑथर या ऐसा डालो ना सुप्रीम कोर्ट केस लॉज सिक्सटी फोर केस लॉज बुक डालो इसके ऊपर अमेजोन पर डाल दो या फ्लिपकार्ट पर डाल दो या जयप्रकाश सोमानी बुक डाल दो जयप्रकाश सोमानी बुक्स डालेंगे ना तो यू विल गेट ऑल माय बुक्स उसमें आपको ये मिल जाएगा बाकी भी बुक्स देखने के लिए मिलेंगे और ये डायरेक्ट प्रैक्टिस से रिलेटेड है दिस इज नॉट एकेडमिक गाइडेंस एकेडमिक गाइडेंस के लिए मेरा कोई बुक किताब नहीं है एंड आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन एकेडमिक गाइडेंस एकेडमिक गाइडेंस करने के लिए लॉ कॉलेज के प्रोफेसर लोग हैं दे विल गिव दाइडेंस प्रैक्टिकल गाइडेंस कभी भी मुझे फोन करेंगे आप एडवोकेट लोग पूरे भारत के या कोई भी तो मुझे एकेडमिक गाइड ये और का एग्जाम मेडिशन कैसा दू कैसा लो कू स्पीड क्या चाहिए बिल्कुल नहीं पूछने का आई डोंट हैव टाइम टू गिव द एकेडमिक गाइड एकेडमिक गाइडेंस हाँ आपको कोई केस के बारे में डिस्कस कर रहा है कोई केस डालना चाहते हैं ये एस में फिट होता है या आर्टिकल थर्टी में जाओ या ये स्टैचुटरी अपील में आता है ये किधर कन्फ्यूजन हो रहा है यू डिस्कस दैट विथ मी जो अपेक्स कोर्ट का मैटर है कुछ भी डिस्कस करो मेरे साथ कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं अगर मैं बिजी रहूंगा तो मैं बोल दूंगा आपको इतने टाइम पे फोन करो यू कैन कैप क्यों मैं बहुत बुद्धिमान आदमी नहीं हूं लेकिन गुरु की कृपा होती है ना नानी पालकी वाले की कृपा होगी तो थोड़ा बहुत अच्छा काम करने की कोशिश तो हम जरूर करते हैं और कुछ ना कुछ नया करने की कोशिश करते हैं डोंट फरगेट टू अटेंड माई फोर्टीन डिसम्बर नानी पालकी वाला शो नानी फोर्टीन डिसम्बर नानी पालकी वाला शो इज डिपेंड अपॉन दी The Code of Social Security 2020 हमारे देश का लेबर लॉ कंप्लीट बदल रहा है चार कोड आ रहे हैं लेबर लॉ के नोटिफिकेशन चल रहा है उनके अभी प्रोसीजर चल रहा है अनऑर्गेनाइज लेबर भी उसमें कवर हो रहा है कॉन्ट्रैक्ट लेबर भी उसमें कवर हो रहा है आपके घर में जो काम वाली आती है ना वो भी अभी लॉ के अंदर कवर हो रही है सबको प्रोटेक्शन देने वाला लेबर लॉ है जो लेबर लॉ में इसमें प्रैक्टिस करना चाहते हैं अपेक्ट कोर्ट में ये बहुत बड़ा लॉ है और इसका एक कोड में डिस्कस करने वाला हूं फोर्टीन को लेकिन मुझे मालूम है यू आर बिजी इन योर एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ ए आर एग्जामिनेशन अगर आप अटेंड कर पाएंगे ना ही तो ज्यादा अच्छा है एक डेढ़ दे, घंटा ही लगेगा उतना निकालो टाइम नहीं लेकिन नहीं कर पाए लेटर ऑन दूसरे तीसरे दिन आप यूट्यूब पे देख लो बराबर है यूट्यूब पे देख लो यूट्यूब पे मैं वो डाल दूंगा जब भी इच्छा है उसको डाउनलोड करो देख सकते हैं यूज कर सकते कोई प्रॉब्लम मेरे सब वीडियोस यूट्यूब पे मोर देन टू हंड्रेड वीडियोज आर देर ऑन यूट्यूब ऑन एक्सपोर्ट इम्पोर्ट मैनेजमेंट समोर्ट इम्पोर्ट समर ऑन लॉ मैनेजमेंट समर ऑन इंसॉलवेंसी एज ए इंसॉलवेंसी प्रोफेशनल इंसॉलवेंसी के ऊपर भी काफी इसमें है ना सिक्सटी फोर केसेस में दो तीन केसेस इंसॉलवेंसी की भी है तो बहुत अच्छे केसेस बहुत अच्छे डिसीजन है मेरा ईच एंड एवरी बुक इज डेडिकेटेड टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजेस पास्ट करंट एंड फ्यूचर व्हाट अ नॉलेज दे हैव व्हाट अ विजडम दे हैव कैसे केस हम देखते हैं ना प्रैक्टिस में कैसे पढ़ के आते हैं केस हमको बताते हैं सोमा नहीं मिस्टर सोमा नहीं सीधी पेज नंबर फिफ्टी टू इसलिए वो जो हमारे नेगेटिव पॉइंट है ना ये नेगेटिव पॉइंट वो बताने के पहले हम स्टडी करके जाएंगे ना नेगेटिव पॉइंट वो ज्यादा अच्छा रहता फिर नोटिस होने के चांसेस बढ़ते हैं हार्ट ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट सो चैप्टर 
12 सॉरी चैप्टर 12 ए मेरे बुक में तो ये केस नंबर 12 है मफतमाल मफतलाल इंडस्ट्रीज लिमिटेड वर्सेस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया दिसंबर 19 1996 ए एक्साइज कस्टम के ऊपर uh, before coming to Apex Court, I was Bombay High Court. Mein karta tha na, to us samay Bombay High Court. Ke saath saath mein mein bhi, uh, practice karta tha. To bolo to Central Excise Custom Appellate Tribunal. I was in the MBA hun, oriented, mein, international trade. So I was interested in custom ke cases. There was a lot of work. There was no lot of work. There was no lot of work. There was no lot of work. There was लेकिन मजा आता है हर केस छोड़ो मत आप छोड़ेंगे तो दूसरा लॉयर करेगा नहीं वो केस ही विल डू दैट ना फिर वो कर सकता है तो आप क्यों नहीं कर सकते हैं बस इतना सिंपल बेसिक प्रिंसिपल याद रखो तो वैरायटी ऑफ एंगल से आप तैयार हो जाएंगे और फिर एपेक्स कोर्ट में ऐसा ही मल्टी डायमेंशनल कोई आ जाता है ना तो एपेक्स कोर्ट में बहुत बढ़िया वैल्यू एडिशन हो जाती है शुरू ड्यूटी लेवल इन अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल Excise custom duty leveled on misrepresentation, misapplication, erroneous interpretation of the statutory provision under the provisions declared unconstitutional or under mistake of law, remedies open, maintainability of suit under section 72 of the Contract Act or repetition under Article 226 and Article 32. Or other remedies provided in Excise Act or Custom Act held where refund is claimed on the ground that provisions of the Central Excise Act, Custom Act, where under duty level is or held to be unconstitutional. Suit or writ petition would be maintainable. However, all refund claims must be filed and adjudicated under the Central Excise Act or the Custom Act. In such cases, suit evoking Section 72 of the Contract Act would be barred, read jurisdiction in such cases to be exercised in the accordance with the legislative intent manifested in the Act. In all situation, situations, refund can only be allowed where manufacturers assesses has not passed on the burden of tax to third parties whereas customers presumptions is of the passing of the burden to the customers burden of the manufacturers to rebut the presumptions by the establishing to the contrary doctrine of a special doctrine discuss case may doctrine of undue enrichment applicable to such assesses but not applicable to the state contact act 1872 contact act ke upar mera special nani palki wala show hai zarur dekhna mere nani palki wala show ka ek alag se maine playlist kar bana ke rakha hai uh, isme uh, youtube pe to youtube pe aap uh, wo playlist hi uh, ye karo subscribe kar lo to aap aaram se ek ek ek, ek nani palki wala show dekh sakte hai ek sebi ke upar hai ek alag alag upar mera show ki hai मेरी फैमिली पूना में रहती है एट द एज ऑफ 54 मैं दिल्ली आया था अभी मैं 58 क्रॉस कर गया तो मैं अकेला रहता हूं यहां पे तो टाइम ही टाइम मिलता है तो किताबें भी होती है पढ़ना होता है नया नया कानून पढ़ना है नए नए वेबिनार लेना है नए नए सेमिनार लेना है लॉ कॉलेज में जाओ अलग-अलग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेबर लॉ के लोग अरेंज करते रहते हैं उधर लेक्चर्स को जाओ लेक्चर सुनने के लिए जाना भी मुझे ज्यादा पसंद है लेक्चर देने के लिए जाना भी पसंद है लाइक दैट तो ये करते रहो दोस्तों बहुत अच्छा है ये लॉ फील्ड हम बहुत अच्छे फील्ड में हैं बहुत अच्छे समाज का बहुत अच्छा कर सकता है दिस इज हम समाज का जो जो भी गंदगी है वो गंदगी बाहर निकालने का समाज क्लीन करने का बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट कार्य हम कर सकते हैं हमारे हाथ में है दोस्तों और उसमें भी अगर आप हायर जुडिशरी में हायर लेवल पे हाई कोर्ट में सुप्रीम कोर्ट में तो और भी ज्यादा आपको काम आएगा लेकिन इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट में प्रैक्टिस करते हैं तहसील में प्रैक्टिस करते हैं उनको स्कोप नहीं उनको भी स्कोप है बहुत अच्छा स्कोप है एक बार कोई सेट हो जाता है तो बहुत अच्छा तीन साल थोड़ा मेहनत करना पड़ता है तीन साल मेहनत करने के बाद लॉ फील्ड अपने आप ही सेट होता है 
excise duty paid under the provision declared unconstitutional because this is the decision of this case doctrine one more doctrine doctrine of uh, unjust enrichment doctrine of uh, restitution also discussed in this head note you have the in examination just uh, if you know the about this doctrine and this case laws to pataksi o case laws mein ja pataksi o doctrine nikalo utna ka wahan ke paragraph thoda sa apne language mein karke likho ho gaya kaam aapka chapter uh, case number 13 Vishakha and others versus state of Rajasthan and others, August 13, 1997. Right of working woman, sexual harassment at workplace. Three judges named. Constitution of India, Article 14, 15, 19, 21, Fundamental Rights. working woman gender equality sexual harassment of working woman in workplace held such incident result in the violation of gender equality is also right to life and liberty and the right to practice profession or to carry out the occupation trade or business article 51 c 3 uh, sorry 253 power of parliament to enact laws absence of domestic law occupying the field value and significance of the international convention and norms held the international convention and norms are to be great significance and parliament has the power to enact law for the implementing the same the immediate cause of the filing present petition was the incident of alleged brutal gang rape of the social worker in village राजस्थान और ये इसके ये केस के बाद ही आ, वर्किंग वुमेन का जो कानून है वो पास हुआ है तो ये लिखने लिख के बाद वो कानून पास हुआ है ये भी अगर लिखेंगे तो यू विल गेट बेटर इंप्रेशन यू विल क्रिएट अ बेटर इंप्रेशन इन द आईज ऑफ योर एग्जामिनेशन गीता केस नंबर फोर्टीन गीता हरिहरन एंड Anadars versus Reserve Bank of India and Anadars February, February seventeen nineteen ninety nine. Hindu law discrimination as a parent between mother and father. Infringement of fundamental infringement of fundamental right Article fourteen and fifty. What a chakis. हिंदू लॉ हिंदू माइनॉरिटी एंड गार्डिशन एक्ट 1956 यहां पे चैलेंज ही किया लॉ को ही चैलेंज किया था सेक्शन 6 ए प्रोवाइडेड दैट मदर हैड द राइट टू बिकम अ नेचुरल गार्डियन ऑफ अ माइनर ओनली आफ्टर द फादर ओनली आफ्टर द फादर तो आफ्टर ये सब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्ट के ऊपर ये पूरा केस है मदर had the right to become a natural guardian of a minor only after the father discrimination on the ground of sex alone constitutionality of mother and father of a minor jointly applied to the reserve bank of india for opening the deposit account in the name of the minor mother in the agreement with the father and signed the application as guardian of the minor but rbi refused to accept the application on the ground that mother during the lifetime of the father was not the natural guardian of the mother held fir supreme court ne held kya kiya supreme court held legislature is presumed to act in the accordance with the constitution hence section 6a can be constituted in the such manner as so as to retain it within the constitutional limit moreover if section 4 and 6 of the hindu minority act are constituted anonymously the word after means the word after means in the absence of thereby referring to the father's absence from the care of the minor's property or person of any reasons 
wherever. Hence, in such situations, the mother can validly act as a natural guardian of the minor even during the lifetime of the father who is considered to be the absence. Therefore, RBI was not right in refusing to accept the said application. However, this judgment is to operate prospectively. This judgment is operate prospectively, not retrospectively. Convention of the Elimination of All Forms of the Discrimination Against Women, 1979, Beijing Declaration. अगर इसके ऊपर का सवाल आया तो बेजिक डिक्लेरेशन के ऊपर कन्वेंशन ऑफ वुमन के ऊपर सवाल आया तो अब बोलेंगे दिस इज नॉट इन 64 फोर केसेस बट दिस इज इन दिस केस गीता हरिहरन स्पेशल मदर का राइट right फादर के बराबर है तो व्हाट इज द लॉ आफ्टर फादर आफ्टर फादर मीन्स आफ्टर द डेट ऑफ फादर ऐसा मीनिंग नहीं निकाला है सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने फादर इन द एबसेंस ऑफ फादर मदर हैव द राइट to look after the binary child so this is the interpretation of law law should be inter interpret in a such a way which has no infringement of any constitutional right to after ka matlab after the date of father nahi to in the absence of father aisa liya so this is a very good case uh, 15 Rupa Ashok Hura versus Ashok Hura and others. This is very good case for curative, curative petition. Ka jalam isse is case hua hai curative petition. Five judge bench. So you know that SLP dismiss hota hai ya koi bhi case Supreme Court mein dismiss hota hai to review hai. Review jurisdiction Supreme Court hai. There is one my video jurisdiction of Supreme Court. Supreme Court rules ke upar bhi mere ke do do ghante ka video hai. You can watch that. Okay. तो उसपे सो रिव्यू डिसमिस होने के बाद क्यूरिटिव पिटिशन सो क्यूरिटिव पिटिशन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस केस लॉन्स इट गेट्स इन टू दैक्टिस सो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया आर्टिकल 12, 32 रिट पिटिशन रिट ऑफ दर्टिओरी चैलेंजिंग वैलिडिटी ऑफ जजमेंट ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट आफ्टर द डिसमिजल ऑफ द रिव्यू पिटिशन देर इज मेंटेनेबिलिटी ऑफ held not maintainable superior court of justice do not fall under the ambit of the state or other authority under article 12 so review hai article 137 ke andar review hota hai lekin supreme court ka review hone ke review dismiss hone ke baad supreme court ko article 32 pe wagaire ko aap challenge kar sakte hai ki supreme court ke judgment ko to कोर्ट ने कंप्लीट मना कर दिया है कोर्ट हैव डिनाइड दैट आर्टिकल 142 रिकंसिडरेशन ऑफ जजमेंट आर्टिकल 142 हैव द पावर अंडर आर्टिकल 142 फोर्टी टू क्यूरिटिव पिटिशन हैव द पावर ऑफ अंडर आर्टिकल 142 फोर्टी टू आर्टिकल वन फोर्टी टू इज द्रह्मास्त्र इन माई आर्ग्यूमेंट आई आई एम ऑलवेज यूजिंग दिस वर्ड लॉर्डशिप दिस इज द राइट टाइम टू यूज द ब्रह्मास्त्र which only apex court judges have article 142 for the end of the justice if there is miscarriage of this is for the end of justice they can pass any order under article 142 so under article 142 reconsideration of judgment of the supreme court after dismissal of the review petition permissibility under inherent power held court may reconsider its judgment in ex exercise of its inherent power in the rarest of rare cases to prevent abuse and its process to cure gross miscarriage of justice grounds and procedure curative petition ke liye jo ground and procedure hai na is given in this case grounds and procedure for such reconsideration laid down supreme court rules Order forty forty seven rule six. So doctrine of ex debito justice. Yeah. 
the order passed by this court would be corrected under this inherent power after dismissal of the review petition on the ground that it was passed either without jurisdiction or in violation of the principle of natural justice or due to unfair procedure giving uh, scope for the bias which resulted in the abuse of the process of the court or miscarriage of justice or an aggrieved person. So friends, this is very important case for curative petition. क्यूरिटी पिटिशन के लिए सीनियर लॉयर का सीनियर लॉयर का लेटर लगता है लेटर में ही एक केस का उल्लेख है दिस केस एज पर दी गाइडेंस गिवन इन द एज पर दी प्रोविजंस गिवन इन दिस केस दिस केस इज सुटेबल फॉर रिव्यू सीनियर सीनियर एडवोकेट डेजिग्नेटेड सीनियर लॉयर जब लेटर देता है दैट टाइम वी कैन फाइल दी क्यूरिटी पिटिशन एंड क्यूरिटी पिटिशन में जो ऑलरेडी जजेस रहते हैं वो एंड टॉप मोस्ट थ्री जजेस ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऐड इन दैट क्यूरिटी पिटिशन एंड क्यूरिटी पिटिशन के ऊपर भी मेरे एक अलग वीडियो है कुछ कुछ मेरे वीडियो पांच पांच दस दस मिनट के भी है फॉर द जनरल पब्लिक गाइडेंस बट लॉन्ग वीडियोस वन आवर टू आवर ये कभी वेबिनार होता है सेमिनार होता है तो वी आर रिकॉर्डिंग दैट एंड वी आर पुटिंग ऑन यूट्यूब लाइक प्रदीप कुमार बिस्वास सिक्सटीन केस इसके बाद मैं ब्रेक देने वाला सिक्सटीन केस प्रदीप कुमार बिस्वास एंड ऑदर्स वर्सेस इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ केमिकल बायोलॉजी एंड ऑदर्स अप्रैल सिक्सटीन टू थाउजेंड टू सी एस आई आर स्टेट और नॉट ये केस किसके ऊपर है सी एस आई आर ये जो संस्था है What is the long form of C S I R? I will later on. I will tell you. ये संस्था स्टेट है या नहीं? इसके ऊपर एक केस है. Seven Judges Bench, Constitution of India, Article Twelve, Council of C S I R, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, C S I R, whether a state held it is a state. Falling within the range of article as per the test judicially involved for the purpose of notification, bringing C S I R within purview of the Section fourteen two of the Administrative Tribunals Act, nineteen eighty five, in conclusion of the facts that C S I R is a state within the meaning of the Article twelve. In appeal to this court, the matter was referred to the Constitution Bench for the reconsideration of the Sabajit Tewari's case, having regard to the pronouncement of this court in several subsequent decisions in respect of the several other institutions of similar nature set up by Union of India. Thus, the question of the consideration. Was whether C S I R is a state within the meaning of Article Twelve of the Constitution. So this is the end of uh, the session one of A O R examination. Sixty four leading cases. We have covered sixteen cases here. Now we are taking short break. <laughs>